Hi, I'm Becky Hedermio, and I'm back here at Wallops Flight Facility with Nathaniel Miller, um, who's part of this exciting mission that we're getting ready to watch take off. And Nathaniel, you have a very important role in this whole project. Tell us a little bit about your job and why you're here. Well, important has, important has a large range of definitions. <laughs> uh, I've been working with this project for about two and a half years. It's my first job out of college, so it's oh, pretty wow. exciting. Uh, I'm a subsystem lead, so the, mm -hmm. it's, it's an inflatable reentry vehicle experiment, so it's a large system. And I was responsible for delivering an offset center of gravity for this vehicle. So mm -hmm. as we're falling in uh, from space, I need to make it fall a little bit to the side. That's my job. Oh. Oh, okay. And our goal with that is mm -hmm. uh, to find out how effective it is uh, to move the center of gravity or the center of mass um, as a guidance maneuver. So we want to know, you know, it's kind of you can kind of think like a, you know, an ant surfing on a leaf or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to want to guide this leaf to, you know, the the place where he wants to go. Right. He can move from one side to the other right. uh, to guide it. Well, if, if we're going to Mars, Mars is a really big place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right now we're looking at sending a met like a basically a tractor trailer load of a habitat to mm -hmm. Mars. Right. And uh, there'll be a return vehicle pre-positioned to re come back uh, to Earth. And you really don't want to land too far away from your return trip. Uh, that's, so. probably, that's probably a <laughs> good idea. So yeah. are you going to be able to actually control this from your seat here in Mission Control? Or did you have to pre-program all of that? So I got my job because I uh, did a bunch of robotics stuff ah. um, through high school. And then my master's was in electrical engineering. My undergrad's actually in mechanical. And they hired me on to do mechanisms, which is kind of, me or mechatronics, which is kind of like the mechanisms and or mechanical systems plus electronics. Mm -hmm. So this is all run on a timer. It's set and go. I sit and watch to find out what's going to happen and mm -hmm. find out if all the uh, analysis and design and uh, studying that we've done over the last, uh, me, me and my team, there's a whole right. subsystem team right. that has put this together. Right. Um, so you know, now, we get to find out if it's going to work yeah, or not. Yeah, now it's the test. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Better, bigger test than what you've had in a long time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so so yep. how do you feel right now? Wow. Well, this is not, it's not unfamiliar to me. I actually mm -hmm. launched a uh, payload in, in my undergrad. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, time doesn't really stop. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you have your stuff done or not. Time doesn't stop. Uh, and uh, it's really, really exciting. So. Um, you know, the other problem is, you know, you get you get excited and then you miss the important stuff. So it's kind of this constant uh, timbering to sort of, it's like sober up. Right, pay attention, right. be pay right attention. here. Mm -hmm. I can be excited about this later. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because if an issue comes up, right. I need to be there. I need to understand what, what just happened, how we got there. And then later on, try and... If, to try and you know reconstruct what happened, right. had it have enough presence to understand all the parameters and everything that was involved to figure out what was going on. That's so, a tough job, though. It's interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> so, so you'll be here for the entire for the entire launch. Yes. And then, what will you do yeah. after the launch? After the launch, I plan on taking a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working quite uh, quite long hours recently, you, you um, so it'll be there'll be a rest first. Right. Okay. And um, they have me signed up to do uh, electronics work on the follow-on mission to this. So, so finish this one, test it, and right away, really, pretty much start on the next um, next stage. Yeah, I'm that's, afraid. I'm afraid so. Yeah. That, that's kind of what yeah. uh, research and, and development projects are all about, yes. though. Very yes. fast-paced. Yes. Uh, moving from one to the other, you'll you'll take the data that that we get from yes. this and plug it right into to the next what or before? Well, or yeah. We, so yeah. so uh, we don't know the name of it yet. Right uh -huh. now, we've been calling it Build to Print. Uh -huh. um, okay. So we, we're 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 preparing hardware that matches this. Right. Uh, you know, the definition of that flight is going to be, as far as I understand it, the definition of that flight is going to be made uh, right after launch. Wow. Um, so when we know uh, what the results of this launch are, uh -huh. you know. Right. It's uh, it's uh, that's gonna that's gonna define what's happening next. You know, the, the, there's no crystal balls around here, nope, nope. and uh, the future is not in my hands. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what's the very best thing that you could learn from this? Oh my goodness! What do you think? What if in a perfect world everything works just exactly the way it's supposed to? Oh my goodness! Well, um, we'll learn a lot more if it go if something goes wrong. Not from the not not with respect to science. You right. know, we want a perfect experiment, and right. that's going to get us our our scientific measurements. Right. Um, that's a tough question. Uh, I mean, I, 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 think I'll, I think I'll answer it to date. Um, you know, really working with my team 
and okay. learning, you know, l learning how these guys are really, really good at what they do. Right. And just kind of, uh, you know, it's such a privilege to work with such a large uh, and talented team. You know, when I started this, there were five of us in the room, and now there are untold of hundreds of people uh, involved in this mission with between the range operations and the, uh, you know, the, t the telemetry guys and the electronics guys and the, just the payload guys and the right. launch vehicle guys, all the testing people and all the procurement people. I mean, it's just, it blows my mind. And uh, just working with the, you know, it's been a real treat working with such talented people. So what got you interested in this field in the first place? Uh, I mean, wow. robotics, that's <laughs> that's pretty cool, but... Yeah. Uh, um, so my dad builds houses. He, uh -huh. His license plate says, I build. Uh -huh. <laughs> Period. You know, it's like, I build. You he builds too. all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and uh, he said, you should come to work. And so from about uh, 12 years old, I was working on the construction site with my dad. Uh -huh. And um, I moved into landscaping. and I had a landscaping company uh, that I was m making about thirty thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. uh and realized that it's i'm 17 and it's time to go to school i can be a landscaper or i can go to school mm -hmm. so i gave my landscaping business to my brother and uh Went started started going to community college um and uh, it's kind of one thing after another you know you know I, a professor of mine said really really well uh you know i said does it even make sense to be planning my career and he said not really because you just don't know, you know, you just don't know. The, the, what happens tomorrow is such so critically dependent on what I do right now, not on what I planned on. Ah. So, you know, I'll have a plan on what I want to do, but the decision I make right now, that's the critical decision. Mm -hmm. And that decision opens or closes doors in the future. Mm -hmm. So... So really paying attention to doing things that you like then. Yeah, yeah, and loving what you do. Right. And choosing to love what you do, right. yeah. You obviously do. Yeah. So, so here you are. Um, Two and a half years into this project, yeah. and uh, center of gravity has become kind of your your subsystem that you're yeah. working on. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's, it's two decks about that. <laughs> right. it's a, you know, I get I get about that much. Uh, my system total system is about that tall, and there's about an uh, inch and a half of skin section that belongs to me. <laughs> hey, that's more so than on a, a, a sixty-five foot though. rocket, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, it's okay. So but yeah, uh, it is a yeah. Sixty-five foot rocket. Yeah. I like that, but. What will um, what what will be next for you? Uh, coming next, you know, like, you know, I'm I'm moving so so I'm actually moving into an electronics role. Okay. And so that's pretty different from a mechanical role. Mm -hmm. You know, in the mechanical world, we worry about strains and stresses and loads and things like that. And uh, in the electrical world, we worry about bits and bytes and bolts and things like that. Um, so that's a pretty that's a that's going to be a pretty big change. So it'll be a, a learning curve too. Yeah. yeah. Um, another challenge. Oh yeah. What advice would yeah. you have for youngsters? They'd better be flexible if they're going to do the kind of job you have because, yeah. boy, whew. Listen to the people that love you. And when things get really hard, it's really okay. Just push through. All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, good. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to have you here today. Um, I'm going to be watching this this amazing little rocket to behind. Uh -huh. We keep seeing pictures of it behind us here, and yeah. um, and and I know that my nerves are just you yeah. know, like oh my gosh, it's lifting up yeah. and going back down and yeah. wondering what's going to happen next. Are you? Would you say that you're um, you have more excitement or more nerves right um, now? I've been praying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're watching these weather systems I, roll through. Boy, I tell you, I get a weather and, alert yeah. on my phone, and I thought, oh. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> you, you know, in this business, we track risk, mm -hmm. and we have a cost, and we have a schedule. Right. And it's balancing our money and our time and, and what we're putting at risk. Right. And so understanding what's at risk and understanding what we've decided, we know how dangerous this particular thing mm -hmm. is, and we've accepted that, or we've done everything that we can to right. take care of it. Um, you know, right now, it's pretty well, a lot of things are very well set. Right as right. they are mm -hmm. and again back to those decisions right now right it's now. a it's a little decision and almost everything is set except for that decision and mm -hmm. so it's going to be up to the team to be making good decisions over the next couple weeks yeah. a couple of days it'll right. seem like a couple of weeks but yeah, yeah. yeah a couple yeah. Of days yeah. we're, we're hoping for sunday morning yes so well nathaniel thank <laughs> yeah. you so much for joining us oh, um, such this a has privilege. been great and yeah. we really appreciate yes. you coming and and we'll be watching you as i understand you'll be over in that that first row over yeah, there? Is yeah, that there, we've got the uh, the subsystem uh, engineer, 
uh, positions myself and my partner mm -hmm. in the inflation system lead, R.J. Bodkin, right. um, and then our electronics lead, Jeff Massey, and uh, our we call him our center body lead. So he's kind of the engineer responsible for pulling all the details together. Okay. Um, all right. We'll be there comparing notes. All right. We'll yeah. be watching. Wonderful. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. All right. Um, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes as we find out more about this exciting launch that's scheduled to start its countdown very shortly.